3D Evil Scarecrow Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody, in today's video I have a pretty simple little evil scarecrow design and this is going to be my last Halloween design of the year. Happy Halloween everybody by the way. And this one is just kind of easy, it's not as 3D so it's super wearable. I hope you guys like it as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. I'm going to begin with an overlay of green acrylic in the background. Since my scarecrow has a pumpkin head for a face, I wanted that to stand out against the background color. So I'd either go with some type of a purple or some type of a green to really show off against that orange, that bright, bright orange. So just apply a thin layer of the color acrylic over the entire nail. That isn't for strength, it is just simply for the color. Then for the strength element of the base of this design, I'm going to be encasing my nail with a layer of clear acrylic to perfect the shape for one and to help make it nice and strong. So it's not going to break. Then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file, starting out with a very coarse bit to remove any bulk that there may be. And after I have that done, I'm going to switch to a much finer bit to smooth out the surface texture. And there's a lot of little sculpted details on this design, so you want to either buff the nail or use a fine bit. After that, I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer over the top, curing that. And after that's done, we can start working on our cute little scarecrow pumpkin guy. And I said cute, but he's actually not really that cute. He's more hair. So, you know, I'm going to take orange acrylic, like I mentioned, a very nice classic bright pumpkin orange, and I'm going to be sculpting the pumpkin head of my scarecrow. So with an oval, start out and then add a couple little divots or grooves in it to create that little lumpy bumpy pumpkin. And then after you have that done, I'm going to be taking some brown acrylic and I'm going to be sculpting the stick of my pumpkin. So just set a little bit down and then sort of pull and stretch it down to the end or the tip of your nail. Let's just take and you should be able to with that gel sealer in the background sort of just work it right down the nail and so then after you have that done i'm going to start working on the hat of my pumpkin or my scarecrow pumpkin guy and i'm going to use the same kind of a brown color and just create sort of a retired witch hat a witch hat that's been through a lot and is a bit tattered let's just add the little point coming off the top and then the brim going partially down my pumpkin's head like so. Very, very easy. Then I'm going to be adding the arms of my little pumpkin scarecrow guy pretty much in the exact same manner that I used to create the main body stick. A little bit of a bead down and then pull and stretch it towards the side of the nail, keeping it nice and thin so it looks like a stick. Just kind of, like I said, it's very stretchy almost. It's much it's much different consistency working on top of gel sealer than working on top of a matte or a smoothed out just buffed nail. It's a very different experience. I'm going to add a little band across his hat with black and then I'm going to take and with yellow acrylic I'm going to be adding a very tattered shirt. So I've got kind of a tank top style shirt on him and don't worry about it looking perfect at the end of the shirt you, like I said tattered you don't want to make any of this guy look new and fresh like he was just put out last week you want him to look like he's been there three four twelve years and keep adding different lines and you can just take the tip of your brush and sort of drag it through that yellow acrylic to make it look like it has the holes in it add a tiny bit of gold for a buckle on his hat doesn't take too much if you have a nice metallic gold acrylic that's very helpful and then I'm going to be adding details to my little scarecrow guy I'm going to be adding some a little bit warmer shade of orange on the pumpkin and then a couple little black outlines within those little grooves of the pumpkin and then dilute some black paint and do plenty of outlining all around him so that he shows off really well against that background so keep adding those little details here and there all the details help and then add little outlines around his shirt as well and then fill in some of those little holes. So just kind of take the tip of your brush and sort of run it back and forth to make the holes extra, extra hole-like. And the best part of this whole design is you get to add his evil little face. So don't forget to add his eyes. And then you're going to want to give him a nice little smile. And make him look, you know, just kind of evil and creepy. I didn't want this design to be as gory, as gross as some of mine. I want to be kind of a cute evil if that makes any sense at all. But it's not a cute autumnal snowman or snowman, I don't know what I'm talking about, scarecrow like you'll see for more Thanksgiving designs. I wanted him to definitely still be Halloween. After that, I'm going to be applying some matte top coat over Mr. Scarecrow 
and he is all done. I hope you guys like this final Halloween design of 2019, and I will be more than happy to come back in 2020 with plenty more ooey gooey gross stuff. And here's a Melody Minutes. Do you like that one? Oh, is it really heavy? <laughs> you, you want one that doesn't weigh so much? Should we find you a smaller one? Okay, let's go find a good one. <coughs> Which one do you like? Oh, there's so many. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Hey, there's a whole bunch of them over there. What about those ones over there? Good. <laughs> one you could hold? Oh, <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Is that a good one? <laughs> Do you like that one, Mel? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this design. I will see you in my next video. Bye.